It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. Labor efficiency. You told me when I was arguing with you in the chat a couple of years ago that your favorite KPI was labor efficiency. Or wait, yeah. am I putting words in your mouth? Because it was genuinely a couple like of years production ago. Production rate, I think is the term that I use to hit that. Can that, thing can that also be labor rate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thing? Labor yeah. rate, production rate are the same thing? Okay, yep. and that's your favorite KPI? Oh yeah. And it's still true? Still true. And you track target versus actual? Yeah, for even for our bookkeepers. It's like my favorite one for our bookkeepers. Yeah, see, you're a genius. I have never tracked this ever in the entire history of my company until like three months ago, and now I'm obsessed. Like, yeah. I've created a monster, I'm obsessed. Okay. We, I, and, and I don't know, there, there's so many things that you learn from people along the way and you don't, you don't recognize the importance of it when you learn it so often. And I remember I was still in the corporate world and Mike Dalkey was running all of the Blue Skies businesses. We didn't have any of the bookkeeping or recruiting stuff. We just had, I think at the time maybe it was even window cleaning. And so he and I would like go to a coffee shop one or two nights a week uh, at our wife's dismay. So I was like, like, what are you guys really doing? We're like spreadsheets. We're like building the plan for the future. Um, and so we were always trying to figure out like, A, that was kind of how our bookkeeping business got started is we just like built out the system and platform for all of our companies by accident. It was just what we thought we needed to measure. But also we were like, oh man, if we're gonna go buy all these companies, we better figure out like what it is that makes them tick. And so I think that was, and I don't think he came up with it, right? He read it somewhere, he got it from somebody that he knew. So it was just a long thing. And it was just the one thing that we always scrutinize. And every time our business got off track, like I could look at that and be like, oh, yep, that's it. It's always, and, and there's different reasons it gets off track for sure. And there's different problems to solve that it points to, but I can't say I came up with it. I just embraced it. Well, I like that you embraced it. And here's my like complaint about it is it's a pain in the ass to track. It's not yeah. easy. <laughs> and I think that's why I've avoided it. Cause I always said I was the lazy accountant. Like I used to treat my window cleaning business like my, I used to say ugly red haired stepchild, but that's red not hair. nice. But, well, yeah, but no, that's, there's that's a red haired nice. stepchild out there that's listening right now and would be like, oh. Like, that's so rude. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not, and but whatever that expression equivalent is, it's more inclusive language. You know what I mean? Like I didn't wow. treat my window cleaning business with respect. I kind of like, I still do this sometimes. I'm like, Jeff, just go away. Like, it's fine. I'll deal with it later. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm busy. Uh, there's a tax deadline on Thursday, by the way, even though I'm a retired tax accountant. That's what I've heard. Oh, oh. my fire alarm is going off. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff <laughs> open the window. <laughs> You'll be, you'll be able to tell where the windows are because they'll be especially clean. You'll be able to see right through them. Oh, that's embarrassing and hilarious. Uh, but people don't believe me. Jeff makes dinner every night and he is making dinner right now. The last I mean, time we did a show, you were like, we, I mean, we carried on for well over an hour like we would. And then you were like, okay, but seriously, I gotta go. Like Jeff has this like gourmet meal sitting out there and like, uh, that's getting cold, like I gotta go. And then you sent me a picture also, of it. I was like, oh damn. Jeff be cooking. It also smells freaking amazing. It's like the worst because it's 612. And remember, I'm on the diet, intermittent fast. And he cooks for my diet. He's like the best. Anyway, we got distracted. Labor rate. It's a pain in the ass. It's just hard to measure, which is why I didn't do it. I'm working on a very cool tool, though. Um, and you inspired me. Uh, and I just made a... You're so smart. I like just connected the dots. The guy that built you a cool tool is Justin Boyd. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, of the huge convention. He's my CFO. I had never connected all those dots. That's awesome. Super yeah. cool. Okay, so I'm making a cool tool. Not as cool as that tool, but whatever. It t it basically is scrubbing my jobber data to give me my labor rate. So I don't have oh, to do yeah. it anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, stay tuned because I'm going to probably package it and give it away to people if you guys need it. But oh, it's yeah. so labor. Every week I scrub a CSV file to figure out what my labor rate is because I want to track it because Dan Plata told me I should and I finally listened because it's it's low hanging fruit. Uh, and Dom, I don't know if he's still on, but you know, maid services are really good about this. They they track their mm -hmm. labor rate, but I don't know that many window cleaners and pressure washers that track their labor rate. Is this I, something that Blue Skies helps their clients with? No, because we don't get into their CRM that much. Because so it's a pain do... in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think um, if the CRMs weren't so different in how you get data out of them, I totally would love to do more like KPI tracking for our clients. We had we had a client ask us to do uh, like job costing and stuff. And job costing can be a total pain in the butt for the same reasons, right? Because it's like, I, it's hard to do within a software. It's like, I got to go get the stuff and get it into Excel and then manipulate the hell out of it. And it's usually going to be hours worth of work until you get a system down. Um, right. And well, and my office manager can do it now, but let me tell you, mm -hmm. she hated my guts for weeks and weeks and weeks because okay. she was like, I made her a loom and I made her a scribe how, and I showed her a big, scary spreadsheet and how she could make it not big and scary. And then how she figured out the math and I taught her the formulas and we did build it. You can build a system. It's doable and it, yeah. you can replace yourself in the system.